I find this very interesting. Our planet is in a perpetual state of motion as it goes spinning through space. Everything on the planet is a part of this movement, even though it appears to us that we are motionless. I am on the planet and thus part of the energy that moves it. <laughs> now, this was stated by Dr. Abdul Kalam. The great man. I have a book here which says uh, biographies may be about other people but readers will learn a lot about themselves in the subject matter because the nature of a biography is to give a person's complete story very few started at the top their stories of achievement will often mirror a reader's own journey to their station in life <laughs> Well, I am reading from a book with the title 200 plus world famous personalities, biographies to inspire you. And this is a publication of the Reader's Delight, an imprint of Ramesh Publishing House, New Delhi. And today, in the alphabetical order, we start with Dr. Abdul Kalam and uh, it's a very brief biography so the, the, what is interesting is that for students and in fact uh, for young children they can simply keep these small biographies with them in their minds in fact so that they will understand the uh, the success stories basically and the struggle in fact and every such biography uh, each biography has only two or three pages and uh, it starts with a quotation and this one starts with uh, let us sacrifice our today so that our children can have a better tomorrow APJ Abdul Kalam served the nation as a President of India July 2002 to July 2007. A notable scientist and an engineer, he is often referred to as the Missile Man of India. Born on October 15, 1931 at Rameshwaram in Tamil Nadu, Dr. Awul Pakir Jainulabuddin Abdul Kalam specialized in aeronautical engineering from Madras Institute of Technology. Dr. Kalam made significant contribution as a project director to develop India's first indigenous satellite launch vehicle SLV-3, which successfully injected the Rohini satellite in the near-Earth near orbit in July 1980 and made India an exclusive member of the Space Club. He was responsible for the evolution of the Indian Space Research, Research Organization, ISRO, launch vehicle program, particularly the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle PSLV configuration. So, the time when we have witnessed the, the great moment in India's history, the Chandrayaan and the Aditya. Remembering Dr. Kalam is perhaps uh, the right thing to do today. After working for two decades in ISRO and mastering launch vehicle technologies, Dr. Kalam took up the responsibility of developing indigenous guided missiles at Defense Research and Development Organization as the Chief Executive of Integrated Guided Missile Development Program, known as the IGMDP. He developed and operationalized Agni and Prithvi missiles and for building indigenous capability in critical technologies through networking of multiple institutions. 
He worked as a scientific advisor to Defense Minister and Secretary Department of Defense Research and Development from July 1992 to December 1999. During this period, he led to the weaponization of strategic, strategic missile systems and the Pokhran II nuclear tests in collaboration with the Department of Atomic Energy which made India a nuclear weapon state. He also gave thrust to self-reliance in defense systems by progressing multiple development tasks and mission projects such as light combat aircraft. As Chairman of Technology Information, Forecasting and Assessment Council TFAC, and as an eminent scientist, he led the country with the help of 500 experts to arrive at Technology Vision 2020 giving a roadmap for transforming India from the present developing status to a developed nation. Dr. Kalam has served as a principal scientific advisor to the government of India in the rank of a cabinet minister from November 1999 to November 2001 and evolved policies, strategies and missions for many development applications. Dr. Abdul Kalam was also the chairman ex officio of the scientific advisory committee to the cabinet he piloted India Millennium Mission 2020. He took up academic pursuit as Professor Technology and Societal Transformation at Anna University, Chennai in November 2001 and was involved in teaching and research tasks. Above all, he took up a mission to ignite the young minds for national development by meeting high school students across the country. Dr. Kalam was one of the most distinguished scientists of India with the unique honor of receiving doctorates from 30 universities and institutions. He had been awarded the coveted civilian awards Padma Bhushan 1981 and Padma Vibhushan 1990 and the highest civilian award Bharat Ratna in 1997. He was a recipient of several other awards and fellow of many professional institutions. Dr. Abdul Kalam served as 11th President of India from July 25, 2002 to 2007. His focus was on transforming India into a developed nation by 2020. On April 29, 2009, he became the first Asian to be bestowed with the Hoover Medal, America's top engineering prize, for his outstanding contribution to public service. In 2011, he was honored Doctor of Science by S. Gujarati University and IEEE Honorship. In May 2011, Kalam launched his mission for the youth of the nation called the What Can I Give Movement with a central theme to defeat corruption. APJ Abdul Kalam's 79th birthday was recognized as World Students Day by the United Nations. He had also received honorary doctorates from 40 universities. In his literary pursuit, four of his books, India 2020, A Vision for the New Millennium, 1998, Wings of Fire, 1999, Ignited Minds, Unleashing the Power Within India, 2002, and My Journey, Transforming Dreams into Actions, 2013, have become household names in India and among the Indian nationals abroad. These books have been translated into many Indian languages. Dr. Kalam died in Shillong on July 27, 2015, while delivering a lecture. We will never forget his contribution in the making of modern India.